Hello YouTube, so I do another quick video here. This is going to be part two of my repeater rack build. Um, this In this video, as you can tell, I have everything all hooked up. This is a full repeater using the TYT 9000 radios and I'm also using a Redivis RT 9000. I'm using my custom built repeater controller board. I did a video about that a while ago. I'll post that link in the description below. I'll post all the links to the re repeater rack. I also have a fan mod bracket that I did. So you can take the cover off and mount a fan to the bottom of the um, radio. Obviously, this radio is going to be the transmit radio. And this is going to be the receive radio. I have the rack sitting on my duplexer. This is a 50-watt duplexer. You might be able to find smaller duplexers, maybe a mobile version. You'd have to check. Um, so that's what that it's just sitting on there. See, just it's just sitting on there. Um, this is my repeater controller board. Like I said, I did a, I did videos about that a while back ago. I'll post that link down below. I printed up a 3D box for it. Here's the shelf. I printed up a shelf, it's an adjustable shelf. Um, the microphone. There's a couple ways you can do this. You can either just leave it unplugged when you're using the radio. Um, because when this radio is keyed up using the DB9 uh, plug in back, it automatically activates the microphone that it's plugged into there. So you can hear background noise. So either A, just unplug the cable when not using it, and then plug it in and use it as a base station when you need to. Or B, modify the microphone with a little toggle switch. Or... Um, I thought about making a little circuit board that would plug into here and then this would plug into there with a little switch But it might just just be easiest to unplug the cable when you're not using it That's only downside about this uh, DB9 that uh, when it's installed it does not it automatically activates the microphone circuitry which obviously because it's you're gonna be using a microphone, but it doesn't know the difference so that's why if something's plugged in here, it's going to turn that microphone on and you can hear background noise. I just unplug it when I'm not using it. It seems to work just fine. Um, so when I key up this radio, you're going to see this thing receive, this thing transmits, and you'll hear me on that radio. Now, you know, I'm obviously way too close here. You're probably going to hear a ton of feedback, but hopefully you'll, you'll hear it. Run two, one, two, one, two. So... Like I said, I it's a ton of feedback, but you get the point. This is a full repeater right here. Um, how I have this is I just I'm I'm just on a dummy load right now, but I just have this is the receive, this is the transmit. Uh, I got I think I did a video about my little slide on SMA uh, uh, drivers that you can just leave them on. I'll post that link down below, and uh, that's how I have this thing set up. And then I have, of course, plugged into the power supply, which you can't see. It's kind of back there. Is the power supply to run the radials. Now, the fan, you can wire up. the. This is a 12-volt fan, so we can hook it direct to the power supply. You can either wire it up so the fan's on all the time, or if you want to get a fancy fan controller that activates with temperature, you can do that. That's your choice. Um, but the fan bracket that I made, you pop the bottom cover off, you put this on the radio that's going to be your transmit radio. You pop the bo bottom cover off. You mount it. I'll post that link down below. I did a video about it. Uh, maybe I'll post that link also down below. But, uh, yeah, this is this is it. This is how the rack would look if you decide to use it as a full repeater. Uh, like I said, I'm using the TYT or... The TYT 9000 for the transmit radio, and I'm using the Redivis RT 9000 for the receive radio. Don't matter. I can flip them around. But I recommend having the transmit radio on top because the hot air is going to rise. You don't want to have the receive radio above that. So I recommend putting the receive radio down below and then put the transmit radio on top. And it looks pretty, I think it looks really good. You know, I think it looks really clean. So there you go. I'll post all the links down below. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. Please subscribe. Thank you and have yourself a good day.